So I'm back with some more Osmo Pocket 3 tips that you probably didn't know. Mr. Black. And let's just jump into it. But by the way, if you are new here, don't be a stranger to the channel. I do this kind of stuff all the time and check out new gear as well. So uh, thanks for being here. I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus a surprise link. So the first really cool trick that I wanna talk about is when you are recording, right? If you're recording and you want to active track something, you can double tap on that object or person and you'll track them. But you know, they're kind of just in the center all the time. However, you can actually move the joystick and put them over to the side or the top or the bottom of the screen and then it will keep them over there tracking them on that side. So for example, like right now I'm in the middle but I can put myself over so I'll move the joystick over. So now it's gonna track me but keep me on that side of the screen or like I can go to the other side and then yeah, it keeps you on that. That's really cool, huh? But also it's a great thing as well because, you know, I don't like being in the center. I like kind of my eyes being a little bit higher up so I can bring that down. And that that's actually exactly how I want it to be tracked. That is a huge, huge feature. That is a great little tip for you. All right, so another tip is this little rig here that I fashioned up with a bunch of different accessories. But I'll put links to where you can find all of these either individually or as a set to make it easier. So right now I have this on a selfie pole. Because if you want to get like higher up shots or even low to the ground shots, you can, but you can't really like, you know, do the joystick that far away. But that would be a really cool accessory if DJI came out with a selfie stick that had the joystick and the record button just right there on the selfie stick, then you can control it that way. However, we don't have that, but we can put a phone mount that would hook onto your selfie stick and then you can actually connect through the app and then you can do things like tilt lock and you can even move the joystick around, but you can get some really creative shots, especially like low to the ground shots or like revealing shots. So that is a great way to do that. And uh, it'd be cool to see some accessories come up for that. But uh, for the meantime, you can just use your app and uh, that will work. Now, a few cool tips while you're recording. So while we are actually recording, you can actually swipe to the left and you can change the EV balance. So if it's a really bright day out there and you just wanna turn down that EV, you can do it just right there. You swipe and then you can also swipe up to make it brighter if it is a little bit darker. So that's really cool and that's how you access it by swiping left and then you see it show up, but that's only while you're recording. Another tip is that while you're recording, you can actually swipe down and you can change things like the brightness. So if you wanna save your battery a little bit, you can turn the brightness down and it keeps recording. It doesn't change any of that. You can also change your rotation speed as well. Like if it, maybe if it's moving a little bit too fast for you or too slow, you can change that while you're recording, no problem. You can also change your gimbal mode so you can go to tilt lock and follow in FPV mode as well while it's recording without stopping, which is great. And also while you're recording, you can even access those creative modes so you can have the face auto detect. So if you're recording something and instead of wanting to just track it by like, you know, tapping on the screen, you can go to that auto detect for faces and then you can enable that. And as soon as someone walks into that screen, it will automatically track them. You can also access the dynamic framing and even the spin shot while it's recording. So you don't have to stop it. And then you can just, you know, do that cool spin shot. Yeah. One of the questions that I've seen in the chat is do the DJI wireless microphones work with this? Can you connect them to this? And the answer is no, they cannot. I've tried, uh, they do not, they're not discoverable by this when you're searching for them. It'd be kind of cool if it did, but uh, I think they're focusing on the DJI mics too. But with the USB-C ports that they have on there, you could actually connect it via USB-C and you can plug it in like that. And then when you have the microphone connected, it actually works, it connects. So you can even do that with any USB-C powered microphones, or even if you have a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. So if you wanna plug in any other microphones to that, so that would work. Another question is, Will this stand up on its own or do you need to have the tripod on? And actually I've set this up by itself with no tripod and even did a time lapse in an airport and it worked great. So if you have no mounts to it and it just kind of sits flat, uh, it does a great job. It doesn't wobble or anything like that. You can do that. I mean, obviously it could tip over if someone like bumps the table or, or if they push it or something like that. So it's a little bit easier with a tripod, but if you're in a pinch, it will work that way. And lastly, thanks to everyone that's been watching these videos. I'm actually overwhelmed with how many views they've gotten so far. So I really do appreciate that. There is more coming out. This is a very popular camera. A lot of people are buying it and just loving it. I've just seen everyone that has gone out and purchased it. They, they just love it. All my friends that have them, 
They are having a blast. They're loving the quality of it. It's gonna be my go-to camera when I go out and film stuff. It's not gonna replace some of my action cameras and stuff, and I'll make a video comparing it to the Action 4, so stay tuned for that. But the main gist of that is that this isn't an action camera. You're not gonna take the scuba diving or skydiving or things like that, but uh, we'll get into some more comparisons of that in the future. So stay tuned for that and many other things. And also, if you got anything out of this video, if you can please click that button, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. Master Black. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No.